Hi guys, thank you for joining for today's how to build strength with a brick. It's gonna be a nice one, it's gonna be a good one, it's gonna be a tough one. So these are multifaceted, they can help us uh, in postures that maybe we can't touch the ground with, find more stretch, but also, oh my goodness, you will find so much strength when using these bricks. So let's get to it. You're just gonna need one today. It doesn't matter what width or what height your brick is. If it's the really skinny ones though, you might wanna double up slightly. So we're gonna come down to all fours position, place the brick in between your thighs. So come into all fours, hands and knees, more, give it a little bit of cat cow. So whatever width of your brick works best for you, I really want you to squeeze it, like big time squeeze. Spread the fingers out wide, tuck the toes, inhale, arch the spine, breathe and lift the head and the tailbone. Exhale, curve the spine, push the ground away, tuck the tailbone under. And again, inhale, arch the spine, lift your chest forward. Exhale, curve. One more breath, just as you are, inhale. And already you're starting to set up the foundations here. You've got to engage the inner thighs, get those adductor muscles to switch on. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, and then find a neutral spine right here. Tuck your toes and lift your knees about an inch off the floor. Hold it, squeeze the brick. Rock the chest forward maybe about an inch. Rock the bum back about an inch, and just keep moving that way. Rock it forward. Rock it back with the knees and the shins just off the floor. Squeeze the brick the whole time. Maybe you can feel some of those really deep core muscles. Your pelvic floor will be switched on big time here. And then from there, keep the knees off the floor. Can you tilt the tailbone up into more of a downward facing dog? Now you can keep the knees bent, absolutely. Hug the inner thighs together as you squeeze around the brick and then slowly bring yourself back down to hover the knees just above the ground. And again, lift the hips up, find your downward facing dog, claw your fingers into the ground and hug the brick. Exhale, lower the knees. Either all the way to the floor or still hover them up, off an inch. One more time, lift the hips up. Exhale, this time lower the knees down completely. Give yourself a moment. Keep the brick there. You're gonna lower down to your forearms and bring your hands into a prayer position. Really push the hands together and press down the little finger side of your hand into the floor and your forearms. Now in this position, still squeeze the brick, you don't wanna drop it. Can you curve the upper back so really protract through the shoulder blades? Separate the, spa uh, the space between them and then retract. Drop your chest, squeeze the, elbow, um, the shoulder blades together so you can find that wing. And again, push away from the ground as you do that, the, se the separation happens between the shoulder blades. Exhale, soften, retract. Do this with the knees off the floor. Protract, keep the knees off the ground, retract. And again, protract and retract. Go more towards protraction, and then lift your hips up. Press down through the forearms and the little finger side of your hand. Let your head drop through the arms as much as possible. Exhale, hover your knees off the ground again, and repeat that twice more. Inhale, lift the hips, working more into dolphin. There's a lot of squeeze, right? There's a little squeeze of the inner thighs also between the hands. Exhale. Lower your knees either to the floor or still hover them off the ground. One more time, press the hips back up. Exhale, lower the knees completely. Plant the hands flat to the ground and come into a regular downward facing dog with the brick in between your thighs. Then start to walk your feet and your hands closer in towards one another. Forward fold. Tiny little bend in the knees. Tilt the tailbone back, rise up onto your fingertips, pull the crown of the head forward, Ardha Uttanasana. So this is your halfway forward fold. If you want to, you can always place your hands onto your shins instead. Hold that there for a moment. This is a very active stretch. Putting the brick in there, we realize how active it really is. <laughs> so we wanna find this feeling eventually in our flows when we get rid of this. Exhale. 
belly towards the thighs and the brick. Now, slowly come up into Utkatasana. Now, I'm just gonna show you here, my feet are quite wide in this position. So I'm actually gonna flip the brick to go the other way, a little bit narrower. So you can adjust that if you want to too. Hug the brick, bend the knees, scoop the arms up in line with your ears, and we're in Utkatasana chair. Press down through the big toes, spread the toes out wide, you should be able to see them. And shift the weight ever so slightly back into the heels as you do that, squeeze your brick. Now, try lifting up onto your tiptoes. Squeeze the brick, hug, 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 lift the heels off the floor. Exhale, lower the heels down. Twice more, shift the weight forward. Try not to let your spine move as you do this. It stays just as it is, lower the heels to the floor. Big crack in the ankle there. One more time, inhale, lift the heels off the floor. Exhale, lower the heels down. Grab your brick, we're gonna change this slightly. Let the thighs breathe. Come all the way up to standing, arms come up over the head. Hold your brick and bring your hands and the brick behind the head. So I just wanna show you here. The brick is coming up against the back of the skull. The elbows are sort of wrapping up towards the sky and you're pushing your head into your hands. Find that position again, Tadasana style mountain pose. Feet can be about hip width apart or closer together if you prefer. Push the head into your hands, breathe in. Exhale, slight bend in the knees, hinge from your hips like you're going into a forward fold, but only come down to about halfway. Push the head into your hands, hold it. Inhale, come all the way back up. Squeeze your glutes, push the head into the brick. And again, exhale, hinge from the hips, tip forward. How does the spine feeling here? Inhale, lift up. Just by adding this brick, we've added a whole new level for the spine to work against. And again, push the hips back, tip the torso forward, hold it. Now, holding onto your brick with your hands, don't let the head move, extend the arms and the brick out in front of you. I really want you to push the brick, like with your hands, like you're holding something very precious and you don't wanna drop it. Hover your chest up one inch and down one inch. And again, lift up one inch and down. One more time, breathe in up one inch. Exhale down, hold it. From there, slowly come all the way up to standing and bring your arms down by your sides. Roll the shoulders, shake it out. This brick can help us really sort of sort out the spine, the way all these muscles in the back, in the inner thighs, around the glutes. I love it. Now we're gonna come into warrior two. Open the legs out wide. Let's turn the left foot out first. Bend the left knee. Once you've found this warrior two, adjust the feet, do what you need to do. Ground down through the feet. Tuck the tailbone under very slightly, engage the glutes. Now take your brick to the outside of your left thigh and knee, and then push the brick with the left hand. So you're kind of sandwiching this brick with your left thigh and your left hand, and try and squeeze that brick. What we're trying to do here with the left thigh is encourage external rotation of the left leg and engage the glutes as you do this. I find it very intense. <laughs> Again, this is what you wanna find when you're in your regular warrior two, without this brick. So try taking it away and still keep that same sort of intensity, that same um, sense of pressing outwards. It stops us from turning the left thigh in and the knee in in this position. Hold that there and add the right arm out to the side as well so that we're not leaning into that left leg. Imagine someone's holding this right hand and sort of pulling you out a little bit in that same direction. One more breath in. Exhale. Bring the brick up over the head, grab it. Again, squeeze that brick with your hands, some activation in the biceps and the triceps. Keep the bend in the left knee and then tip the upper body over towards the right. Tip the upper body over towards the left. I would like you to keep your arms in line with your ears. And again, tip it over to the right. You gotta use your obliques now, these side abdominals. Tip it to the left. Every single time you do this, maybe you can just add on a millimeter more that you go over. And again. And how far you can go over, 
with stability really depends on how strong the feet and the legs and the glutes are as well. One more time, tip it over to the right. Tip it over to the left. Bring it back up to center, stay where you are. Hands stay as they are. You're gonna hinge the hips back and the torso forward. Still keep the bend in the front knee. You're going more on a diagonal line. And then inhale, bring it back up to center. Oh my goodness, exhale again. <laughs> hinge the hips back, tip the torso forward. One more time, bring it back up to center. Exhale, hinge forward. All the way back up, almost done with this side. Take the brick around the back of you. Hold the brick with your hands around the back. Squeeze the shoulders back, lift your chest, and take it into a humble warrior. So your chest is going down to the inside of your front leg, holding onto this brick. Let, this, let the arms come up over the head, holding onto the brick as you go. <sighs> Exhale through the mouth. Slowly pick yourself back up. And then bring yourself up to center, straighten the left leg, turn the left foot in, turn the right toes out, bend the right knee, warrior two to the other side. Grab your brick with your right hand, sandwich the brick in between the thigh and the hand. Who needs the gym? <laughs> so have a moment just to focus on this right now, squeeze the brick, You've got that real subtle but quite intense external rotation happening on this right thigh. Squeeze the glutes slightly. Every now and again, just test that feeling as you take away the brick. And then you can add the left arm out. Imagine you're getting pulled back by the left hand ever so slightly. Like your beloved teacher is just there. Now to touch you, taking you back a little bit. And just take a moment the mouth. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then bring the brick up over the head. Hold on to it. Keep the legs really solid. Exhale, tip to the left. Keep the arms in line with the ears. Inhale, center. Exhale, tip to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, tip to the left. Every time you do this, maybe you can go a tiny bit further. Test yourself. Breathe in. Exhale, over. One more time, breathe in, exhale over, inhale center, exhale to the right. Bring it back into center, keep the arms where they are, tip the torso forward as the hips hinge back. Come down about halfway on that diagonal line, inhale, gather it back up to center. And again, exhale. And this move, uh, movement really does stretch the inner thighs here as well. Bring it back up to center. One more time. Hinge the hips back, tip the torso forward. Inhale, center, take the arms around the back of you, grab hold of the brick behind you. Squeeze the shoulders back, lift your chest, humble warrior. Chest and right shoulder down to the inside of the right leg. Arms come up over the head. Relax the head, breathe out through the mouth every now and again. We wanna creatively use these bricks and see how much they really do help us. There is such an avoidance of using them and actually let's just bring them into our lives and see how they can help us. They can build more strength for us. Slowly bring yourself back up to center, straighten up the right leg, turn the right toes in. Prasarita Padottanasana time. So both of your feet are turned in. You can adjust the, the width of the feet if you prefer. Bring the arms up over the head again, holding onto this brick. Now in this position, it's very specific how you come into your forward fold. There is a slight bend in your knees. There is weight going back into the heels, but press down through the big toe mounds. As you get that position with the legs, hinge from the hips. Push the hips back, tip the torso forward. My challenge for you is to come down to about halfway, but keep the arms in line with the ears. I'll take it to the side so you can see this here. Tiny bend in the knees. Push the bum back, hinge from the hips, press down through the big toe mound, reach the hands forward, arms in line with the ears, and just look straight to the floor. Now, take the brick behind your head like you did before in that forward fold, and then inhale, come all the way up. Squeeze through the inner thighs, exhale, hinge forward halfway again. And again, inhale, come all the way up. 
Hug, 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 hug. Push the head into the hands. Exhale forward. One more time. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hinge forward, release the brick. Keep reaching it out in front of you though. And then eventually bring the brick to the floor. Whatever height of the brick works for you at this moment. Get that brick as far away from the feet as you possibly can. The weight is still pushing, pushing slightly back into the heels, press down through the big toes and let the head drop through the arms. So it's a functional forward fold. Now from here, I want us to come down more box split style. Now we're all gonna be different with flexibility here. Ultimately, you're always using the brick. So I'm gonna go head on so you can see from the, from the front. Press your hands into the brick and then you can look towards the brick if you prefer. Slide your feet out to the sides of the mat. And over time, you can adjust the brick a little bit Anyone that prefers to actually bring the hands to the floor, you can. Now, some people will be really close to the ground. You can flex the feet and come all the way down. Go slow. If you're not as far down as that, then keep one hand on your brick. Take one hand through the gap of the legs. Flex your feet. Turn the toes up towards the sky. You can bend the knees or you can just kick the heels out very slightly more to control yourself down. It takes multiple times <laughs> to get that feeling uh, to feeling good. So if there's a little bit of a plonk down, then that's fine. Now, once you're in this split position, you can adjust the feet to be narrower if you prefer. Feel the sit bones beneath the sit, um, feel the ground beneath the sit bones. Grab your brick, arms up over the head, and then exhale, tilt to the left. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, tilt to the right, flex the feet. Inhale, center. And again to the left. Center. And to the right. When you come back into center, tilt the torso forward one inch. I mean it, just one. Flex the feet. Hold it. Engage the thigh muscles. Zip them up. And again, hinge forward one more inch. Zip, 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 zip with the thighs. Stay where you are, I'm gonna turn around so you can see the other angle. It is more important to me that you keep this length in the spine than going really, really far forward. Now you may be able to take it really, really far down. Who knows? If you've got that flexibility in your range, then by all means go for it, but you must still have some stability so that the mobility is healthier. Don't just rely on your flexibility for this. You go down as far as you can hold it. Arms stay up in line with the ears. And then very slowly, you can use your hands if you are really far down to help bring yourself back up. Good. Bring the brick out in front of you. Take it to its middle height, actually, and then squeeze the legs together. And you can swing your legs round to face one side of the room. What you're gonna have here is your brick in the middle of the mat. Legs in a very small V position. Feel the sit bones, touch the ground. And you can have your hands out by your sides or you can have your hands together. We're gonna to work our hip flexors. Now, without having to completely lose your spine to bring this right leg over, try and bring that right leg over with minimal collapse in the lower back. And then right leg over, either side. Left leg over the brick. You're gonna hate me for this. Left leg over it. And again, take it over. And round. Over. And round. Keep it going for one or two more rounds or get that brick even higher. Over. Over. Just like pinches in the quads. We're all feeling it. Don't pretend that you aren't. <laughs> I won't pretend either. And then once you've gone, that's enough. <laughs> Place your brick, whatever width, in between your ankles. Bend the knees, lift the legs up, Navasana into your boat pose. Arms out to the sides or fingertips on the floor. Now, the reason I'm take, making you take this brick by your ankles is because it's harder. Let me be really straight with you. It's harder to hold something further away from your pubic bone here. 
So squeeze that brick, flex the feet, toes look up towards the sky. Absolutely bend the knees, or if you don't collapse the lower back, then you can straighten the legs. Up to you what works best. Breathe in at the top. Exhale, kick your feet forward and lean back into low boat, squeeze. There should be so much shake happening here. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, kick your feet forward, lean back. You can probably see the shake with me here. And again, inhale back up. Exhale, push it forward. One more. Inhale, bring it back up and lower your feet to the floor. Flex the feet, heels into the ground. Keep hold of that brick around the ankles and your shins area. And then lie back onto your spine. Keep your feet flexed and just slide your feet forward another couple of inches. Keep hold of that brick in between the shins and the ankles. Now squeeze your bum and lift the hips about an inch off the floor. Your focus here though is squeezing hold of that brick. Lower the hips down. And again, squeeze the brick, engage the glutes, lift the hips up a touch and lower it down. One more time, squeeze, lift, lower. Excellent. Lift your legs up, grab the brick and place it in between your thighs. Whatever width works best for you here, bend the knees fully and plant the feet flat to the floor. Regular bridge, how are your quads feeling? Tuck the tailbone, press down through the feet, squeeze your brick, squeeze your glutes, lift the hips up. Really great work, everyone. So yes, this is a lot of work, this sequence here, but often it will really help you find actually the, the, what the sensation of these postures in your regular vinyasa flow class can be, um, should be. So we can relearn them again and again and again, keep them fresh. Exhale, lower the hips down. And again, inhale, lift your hips up, squeeze your bum, squeeze the brick. Exhale, lower it. So a few postures there to inspire you maybe just to pick up your brick and use it for strength purposes as well. Ditch the brick to the side. Take your arms out wide to the side and just take a, a twist of your choice. It can be open legs, stacked legs, crossed legs, up to you. And gently switch it to the other side when you're ready. Really good work. Again, I find this stuff really good just for conditioning the muscles, coming into the posture, into the detail, freshening up postures. Uh, really realizing that yoga is not just about flexibility. I hear it all the time, I'm not flexible enough to do it. It's strength. And then when you're ready, you can hug your knees into your chest. Take a little moment here. Rock up and down or side to side, whatever gets you into a comfortable seat in the middle of the mat to finish off together. You can have your hands on your thighs, your belly, your heart, palms together. Take a little bow to yourself. Thank you for the effort, for the attention, for the awareness, for your presence. Take a final breath in together. And a final breath out. Thank you so much for joining, as always. If you like my stuff, Try all the other things I've got on the channel. I also have full length flows on my website, alistroyoga.com, in case you're interested in some memberships or buying drop-ins, flowing with me live. It's all up there. Thank you for your support. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe and spread the word. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.